the Lord be with you everybody. Now as you can see I'm out today in the churchyard here at Abbeystead. The reason for that is I wanted you to see all the beautiful crocuses. I don't know how clearly you can see them but they're all over the churchyard carpet of purple. Absolutely beautiful. And then a reminder that spring is here and spring always makes us think about new life and um, the birds are busy building nests to have their young we've got lambs starting to be born we've got the flowers sprouting up and it's a time of year when we're thinking very much about new life isn't it and of course in the church it's the time when we're thinking about easter the time of new life for the church given to us through jesus christ we're coming into a time now in the church called Passion Tide, and Passion Tide is that time when we start to think about Holy Week and Easter and the things that happened to Jesus leading up to his death and then his resurrection and the new life that that brought for all of us. And there's lots of bits to the story really as we go through towards Easter and to help us to think that through and to get the story in the right order, I've got a little craft activity. I've got one here, here's one I made earlier. As you can see, as it's Easter, I'm using an egg box. And on the top of the egg box, it says, possibly backwards to you, and I apologise if it is, the story of Holy Week and Easter. And inside the box, you can see I've painted it, and I've numbered each little section, one to six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and each section tells a little bit of the story of Holy Week and Easter. So, for example, Holy Week begins on Palm Sunday. So, in number one, I've got a tiny, tiny little palm cross. And to remind me what palm leaves actually look like, I found a picture in a magazine. You could draw one or, or cut one out of green paper, a palm leaf. Here we are. And that's what palm leaves actually look like. So, I've got that in there as well. You could put anything you like that reminds you of, of the story of Palm Sunday into that first little box. The second little container, little area, reminds us of Maundy Thursday. Maundy Thursday is the day when Jesus had his last supper with his followers, his friends, his disciples. And they shared bread and wine. So I've had the Play-Doh out. I've made a little tiny loaf of bread. And I've made, oh, so fiddly, I can't get hold of them. Some little tiny, whoops, oops, so Daisy, can you see those? grapes and I've also put in a white cloth I've used a bit of tissue to remind us of how Jesus washed his disciples feet to remind them that we're here to serve one another we're all servants to one another so they're my little reminders of Maundy Thursday and the story of Maundy Thursday and also on Maundy Thursday after he'd shared a meal he went to the garden of Gethsemane and it was in the garden of Gethsemane that he prayed and that he was arrested actually and ended up going before Pilate and Herod to be charged and so I've got some things to remind me of the Garden of Gethsemane I've got these are actually dried flowers you could use fresh I guess if they're quite small I've got some little purple flowers there and I've got a little bit of oh, gypsophilia as well to remind me of the garden you could also, if you wanted to, it might be that perhaps you've got a, a little Lego sword or something like that. You want to make a little sword because some versions of the story in the Gospels, um, the, the soldiers fought with some of the disciples. And there's one story where one of the soldiers had his ear cut off even. It's a bit gruesome. Um, so you might have to put a sword in. Well, that's up to you. And then the next bit of the story in section four, that's quite a sad bit. That's Good Friday. And that's when Jesus was crucified on the cross. Um, but before he was crucified, he was mocked and taken the mickey out of and teased by the soldiers. And they dressed him up as a king and they put the crown of thorns on his head. And they put a purple robe because purple is the royal colour. They put a purple robe on him as well so I've got a little crown of thorns to have made and a bit of purple material as well and that led to his crucifixion on the cross so you can probably guess what I've got in number five I've got oh hang on a minute I might need to put the box down here can't get hold of it I've got here can you see that I've got 
probably can't see it very clear, I've got the cross, little wooden cross that I've made, and so some sticks. You could also put a nail in, I guess, and that reminds us of how Jesus was nailed to the cross quite horribly. And then we come to the really big day, Easter day, the day when Jesus rose back to new life. And so I've used a bit of eggshell, I've coloured it in, then inside it I've coloured in sort of a, a sun design because it was at um, dawn as the sun was rising that Jesus was first seen, the risen Jesus was first seen. A great day of celebration. So you could put in your little bit of egg because we use egg at Easter to remind us of new life bursting out of the egg. Don't we? A bit like a chick bursting out of the egg. Jesus burst out of the tomb. So I've used an egg shell. You could put some mini eggs in there. Um, you might have your own other ideas about what you could put in to remind us of Easter day, that great day of celebration. So I hope that as we go through the next couple of weeks towards Easter Day, you'll have the opportunity to hear different parts of the story that these symbols help you to think about. And that by the end of that, when we get to Easter Day, if you've made your own little box with your own little items in it, that you'll have something to remind you all through the year of the story of Holy Week and Easter. And it's a story of hope. And more than ever before, we really need to hear that story of hope. So let us pray about that now. Let us pray. Loving God, as we prepare to celebrate Easter Day, we look forward with anticipation and with hope. We pray this as we think about light coming into the world through your resurrection. We may remember to pass on our hope and joy of Easter to all whom we meet. In Jesus' name, Amen.